Hi everyone, I'm Edith Vidayani. Um, I'm a professional pianist and today we're going to review the Estonia Hidden Beauty. This piano, a lot of you guys probably don't know about Estonia. Um, me neither actually, I've only gotten acquainted with it probably sometime last year. Um, and it's actually becoming, quickly becoming one of my favorite pianos to play. Um, what is very interesting about it is, is like the fact that its sound is actually very, very beautiful. Um, and I, I, I usually don't say this often, like the fact that it's beautiful. Like I would say that something is powerful, I would say something is um, like bright or warm or all of the other adjectives, but beautiful. Um, I, I truly feel like this piano is special in that sense. It's the fact that the sound itself is very, very beautiful. Um, and it's, it's also um, one of those like very resonant and very warm um, sound. So. The thing is, is like it has like a lot of depth, I think, and uh, it's very easy to play, which is something that I particularly enjoy. But a lot of people don't know about Estonia, and I think the reason why is because it's not as ma mass manufactured as some of the other brands, but I think it is one of the highest quality that you can get at this particular price point, because there are always going to be like other pianos that are more expensive, but at the same time, it's like it probably doesn't always um, promise you the quality that Estonia actually has. So um, Estonia, from what I have like read about, um, they take a really, really big pride on their manufacturing process. Um, they source like the best quality and they really make sure that all of the um, soundboard and the hammers and all of this, um, the, the frame, everything is very high quality and it's 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 it i think the owner right now um i think dr indrek lowell it's also a pianist um, which is really really nice it's actually very similar to the idea of fazioli also so then the the idea that the piano manufacturing is actually headed by a pianist um himself so it it, it gives you a really really nice experience to play on um for example um I like the singing tone. I like the beautiful tone. For example, in this Brahms um, intermezzo, this is the 180 number two. It's just very warm, it's very pretty, it's very resonant, but never like heavy. And it has that very natural legato um, feeling to it, which is really, really nice for like this um, very like lyrical passages, um, for romantic pieces like Chopin. And as you guys notice, um, when I play things like this, most of the time with other pianos, I'm always very, very scared that I would play a little too loud or like the piano sound is not very intimate or it doesn't, it's never soft enough. It's always like it's too loud. But with this one, it's actually very, very easy for it to be soft, but still like project, like you still have that presence of the sound. But at the same time, um, it has a very sweet, quality to it. It's, it's just very beautiful. I think beautiful is the right way to, to describe it um, in terms of the sound itself. Um, what else? Um, I think Estonia is also very nice in terms of um, 
being able to be played in, in, in various styles. I think the um, Dr. Lau actually has that feeling of like wanting the piano to be able to encompass like all genre and all sound. Um, something about Estonia, like there's there's this meaning of, 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 of the name itself. Estonia, obviously this is coming from Estonia as in the country Estonia, but at the same time it's just like it has a couple of meanings. I think if I'm not mistaken, I read it over in their website about Estonia means there is tone and Estonia means be all. So then there is this idea of like all encompassing tone that can be uh, basically just like, it doesn't matter what genre you play, it doesn't matter what era you play, that um, Estonia piano can actually get you there. Um, which I must say is just like, I actually agree with it. So for example, like if we play something of Mozart that needs something a little bit cleaner and lighter, uh, I also think that Estonia has a good sound for it. For example, something like that, it's, it's still very, very clean. It's, it has that quick release, I think, from the damper, so then you never get anything bleeding over or anything that sounds um, unpleasant. It's just like everything always sounds very clean. Everything always sounds so beautiful. Same thing with like loud stuff as well. So like, for example, this is the Romanov polka, um, the loud part, I guess. For example, something like that, that still sounds like powerful. But at the same time, it always sounds beautiful. It's like it's never sounding harsh. Um, and I think that's like the biggest element of Estonia that I like, especially at this price point, because if we're comparing like what you can get out of an Estonia piano with something that's a little bit more expensive, then you get, I want to say like the, you get most of the quality that you would want in a professional um, piano, so it's just like it's sensitive. It's uh, it's very nice. Um, it has like a lot of dynamic range, um, but it's never harsh. It's never. Um, I want to say like it's it's just never clangy. Like the sound is always so beautiful, no matter what you do to it. <laughs> it's just a really wrong way to say it, but you get what I mean. It's just like the sound, the basic sound of it, I think is very, very beautiful. I want to say that this piano probably, I want to say that for, for, for those of you who can like splurge a little bit more if you're buying like your first grand pianos, for example, or if you're looking for an upgrade, like from your like smaller, grand oh, by the way, this is um, the Hidden Beauty, the one, this one, is 190 centimeters. So it's a little bit bigger than your usual baby grand. Um, like baby grands is usually about like 160-ish. This is a 190, so it's, this is a little bit longer. So it gives you a little bit more um, resonance and gives you a little bit more power. But I say that it's, uh, this piano can, can, can stay with you for a really, really long time. It's a really, really nice investment in and of itself. Um, and it has the capacity, it has the capacity for you to experiment so much more with tone and so much more with colors and so much more with so many different genres and so many different eras. So I think this is like a hidden gem. Like a lot of people don't know about this piano. Um, a big name pianist that I know um, either bought an Estonia, I think he bought an Estonia, is, is Mark Andre Hamelin. I think if I'm not mistaken, um, he actually owns an Estonia and I think he likes it. Um, Claudio Arau also has like a really, really nice review of an Estonia piano. So give it a try um, just because I know that it is not as big of a brand name as some of the other um, pianos that we know. But at the same time, it's, 
it has all the qualities that you probably want. Um, it's also very pretty. Like if you if you if you're able to see it, it's just like that idea of like just like regular black, not regular, but you get what I mean. It's just like it's the black box outside, but then like when you actually open it, it's just like it has this like beautiful wood um, inside. I think that's why it's called the hidden beauty because like when you actually close it, it just looks black, but then inside. It actually is so much more. I think it actually same. It, it, it kind of parallels that, that idea with Estonia as the piano itself. Just because I feel like not a lot of people know about it, but I really think that a lot of people should know about it because this is an instrument that's like it's such a hidden gem. I really feel like once you try it, you probably would love it. Um, so come and try it um, when you can, and then tell me what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also check out our website, thegrandsignaturepiano.com. I look forward to see you in our next video.